What's the deal with airplane peanuts? One of my favorites is the joke about how you started smoking cigarettes so young. Yeah, I was 12. But, but you also you also played with action figures yeah, until you were 13. Yeah, and I played then there with was, action figures until I was like 15. And then there was like a years of overlap Dude, there was <laughs> where you're smoking cigs and the, playing action figures. I told that story on the bonfire <laughs> and then I, wrote, I like wrote that joke, but the... Um, the actual original, like the the day yeah. that I always remember was it was summer vacation, probably between seventh and eighth grade. Yeah. So I was at home. Yeah. You know, I, I could stay alone. I was like 12. And so I was home alone. My mom would go to work. She was gone all day. I remember in the morning, USA would play Wings. Hell yeah. Wings and then was, a play Wings was awesome. Hauser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I sat on the floor with my WWF Hasbro figures in the ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like just battling, and then I'd finish a match. You know, probably have a new champ. Yeah, and then I'd go on the side of my house, and I had a soft pack of Marlboro Reds. <laughs> I pulled the cigarette out, and I remember smoking it. Yeah, loving smoking. Thinking about like fuck, maybe okay, H, go, maybe Triple H should get, go, the, get the strap right, next. So we, I'm probably thinking Tatanka for the IC. <laughs> Maybe we do like a Hogan Undertaker steel cage match. I'm booking it. I'm fantasy booking it on the side of my house. And then I remember I went in the house and I got uh, dizzy from smoking. You know, yeah, when you yeah, first of course. The first, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I was like, oh, and I You're laid lightheaded. down. Yeah. And I just remember laying down sideways on the couch watching Doogie Hauser, and then like rolling off and going right back to playing with the <laughs> like, Oh, oh, here he comes. That's so oh. awesome. It's so funny doing that noise. You go, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And then the, the ovation, the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. And, then the, <laughs> and my lighter's slipping out of my fucking sweatshorts. You dealt drugs? You did drugs and you got robbed by a drug dealer. Yeah, I didn't. There, you played a, all the parts in that movie. I, I didn't really ever deal drugs. Right. I lived with a drug dealer. I lived right. with a guy that sold weed. Right. It's like weird to call him a drug dealer. Right. Drug you watched the house. I was like the guy on the couch. You were the, playing the video games with the drug dealer yes. in between. I was the lobby. Right. <laughs> while Amir, while Amir was, can I going, get you a coffee or drink? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, he would. Co I would load the bubbler. Yeah. We'd play like some, you know, home run derby on PlayStation Two. Yeah. And I was funny. Yeah. So I was like the secretary. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Amir is weighing out your quarter pound, honey. Take a seat. <laughs> is this your first time buying from him? <laughs> you know, it comes from Victoria, British Columbia. <laughs> Dude, the sound, the Sandusky thing, the most fucked up part is that in one of the descriptions, they said that someone just heard the sound. Which like, they, like, like the cheeks clapping? Yeah. Oh, like, no. Boy. Like, yeah, there's like one report where they're like, yeah. I just walked by and I heard the cheeks clapping. And how does that, that's got to fuck you up, dude. You can't fuck after that. That's for like, the opposite of hearing Chappelle's voice around the corner. Yeah. You're like, it, you're like, you're like no. Uh, no. Someone better have been hanging up a picture. Yeah. That's, yeah that, that's the worst part about that. It's like, as soon as you verbalize that publicly, Everybody knows that that's what you're thinking about when you're staring off in the space. Like mm -hmm. Anytime like you're in the den, yeah. and your wife's like, honey, do you want a piece of lemon cake? And she sees the look I, in your eyes. I like, would be hearing it up until clapping. the gunshot. Yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't go to an event where applause was a thing. Because it would just sound oh, like a million. save those kids. It just sounds like mi millions of kids are being boofed right there. As a, Stop clapping for them. <sighs> oh, no, the finger snaps are even worse. Stop, please. Oh, oh, oh no. I think that's... Those are little penises being slapped against tongues. I can't do that. No. Uh, do you think Sandowski ever did that? You ever yeah. think he ever did oh, dick smack on his oh, own face? Oh, oh God. Uh, do you ever think he was nasty with him? Do you ever think he comes to yeah. him like a, an offensive coach or whatever? I don't know. Oh, my God. The kid was like, nah, there was one time he got nasty with me. That was the worst part. Dude, I walked around my block for like... 10 days, I'm like, someone's going to throw out a fucking shitty chair. Someone's going to throw out a chair. That's like, but that's like the folding chair. Yeah. I think if you're like, if you run across that not looking for it, it's good luck. But going to try to find something like that, I would imagine it'd be hard because 
all the chairs that the universe will throw at you will be like an office chair yeah or like a child's chair yeah you don't want any of that shit and i did find i i started laughing because one time i found like a small baby folding chair i'm like yeah. that would be funny just, <laughs> <laughs> just like like what he's like i fucking laid out yeah, a toddler dude, i just i fucking know an extreme rules match with a kindergarten it was a fucking texas death match <laughs> yeah. and this fucking baby was going down loser takes a nap <laughs> But they're like, I will not. Dude, Walgett is like, loser leaves preschool yeah. tonight. Loser finds out Santa isn't real tonight at the ECW arena. I'm going to tell you right now. Little kids cutting <laughs> promo. I was a, you're a mean person. <laughs> I know that I'm not on the naughty list, you fucking pussies. Like, I'm going to put cooties on you. Dude, cooties. Dude, cooties is Dude. the best. If you were a child wrestler and your finishing move wasn't called cooties, dude, hits him with the cooties. Child wrestling, the Indian rug burn oh, on the I fucking, know. just like, oh yeah. my god, he's setting him up. <laughs> he's like, yeah. he got him again, <laughs> tapping. Dude, they raise the arm and it comes down. He's got him in a noogie. He's giving he's him got a noogie. Black eye, King. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a noogie like that before, King. Ch- children wrestling moves, <laughs> dude. Just having two kids, yeah, beat you, the shit out of one another. That would be fun. If you have children and you're watching this and they wrestle, definitely start throwing in some JR on it. Dude, I uh I I was a I wrestled all through my like childhood and into middle school. Oh man, so there's a lot of pictures of you doing this. That's where my dad went from being like a couch alcoholic that worked at a liquor store but still could get it together enough to get 49ers tickets yeah. from his garbage. Sure, got, yeah, from the connection. garbage yeah. man I swear to God Teddy the garbage man oh. God gave us Niners tickets <laughs> and we went it was like Steve Young's first start against the Rams really yeah, it was like back when Montana got traded to the Chiefs it was unbelievable and I, yeah, dude Teddy the garbage man gave us like it's fucking always shady when you have a personal relationship with the garbage man what are you doing in the nine <laughs> seconds that he's out front of your house dude, they're chatting tomorrow, Bill. they're chatting well, it up <laughs> yo that's exactly it they chatting it up they're bumming dad, cigs and lighters with each other my dad yeah. would go outside and rip a Marlboro Red and yeah. talk to Teddy my dad was like I'm very much my father's personality, which is just like, hey, you want to talk? I'll talk to you for fucking three hours. Yeah. And uh, he, and then I find out that the mob, like, really runs the garbage in San Francisco. Like, really? Way beyond New York, obviously, waste management is sure. a thing. But, like, San Francisco, the mob had a stranglehold Damn. on the, the fucking... Collection. Yeah, 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 collection. And then I realized Teddy was, like, a good-looking Italian kid. And, uh, <laughs> This kid was probably fucking mobbed up. And that's why we got like 20th row, 40 yard line tickets to the Niners. Dad, we're in the owner's box. What the yeah, fuck's Teddy yeah. I'm like, dude, you, you're the fucking opening manager of a liquor store in Mill Valley. So we used to like. Uh, that's great. So, <laughs> no child support, but Steve Young comes up to you after yeah. the game. Dude, I get to high hey, five. Dan, good to see you. Get to high five Huey Lewis in his prime. Uh, Teddy's but, only throwing out guys in rolled up carpet. Yeah, Teddy, <laughs> Teddy gives my dad Manila envelope, yeah. and he goes like, "Hey, why don't you get this bitch off your back? He's a little, <laughs> buy the kid a guitar, hey, will you? <laughs> hey, buy the kid a Hilux, and why don't you kick a little to that noisy cunt in Colorado? He's into what? Uh, the Ninja Turtles? What are they called? He goes, by the way, we can stop by and make life for his stepfather very painful. <laughs> I got some people in Aurora. It's yeah. okay. He goes, Try listen, to- I got a cousin. He's out in Aurora because he's got a hot sheet right now. He's laying low, but he can still do something. All I'm saying is it'd be a shame if, you, if your son's stepfather had a broken hip. Did he have like a stepdad name? Like Joe. Joe, yeah. And Joe's a good one. I mean, I talk about it on stage, but he was my dad's ex-best friend. And he was like... They'd come in. Wait and, a second. Hold yeah. up. Don't you can't. He's my godfather. He was your godfather. <laughs> he's my godfather. So he's your godfather. He was yeah. your dad's ex best friend. Yeah, yeah. And and just he slid in there. Yeah. So they. We, How long after? Oh, like eight years. I mean, not not. Listen, it's never cool. It's never cool. It's never cool. Was he just like at first? No, did my you just mom, think he was over talking with your mom about your dad, and then you? Yeah, we moved him from <laughs> Connecticut to Colorado uh-huh. because. For some reason, my mom and I were like sitting around. It was the summer of the 96 Olympic Games. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, you should. Joe and his wife were my parents' friends, obviously, because right. my godfather. Right. And I was like, when was the last time we talked to Joe and Lynn? And my mom was like, oh, shit, since like 89. And I was like, call him up. And I did it to myself. I was like, you should see how Joe's doing. So my mom called Joe. He was divorced. My mom was single. They were talking. And then my mom, we were looking for a roommate. 
So my mom's like, how'd you feel about Joe moving? Wait, you guys were looking for a roommate? Yeah. Yeah. There was like this one time in my mom's, uh, you know, where she, we were like, we need the help. Right. We're, it'll help out. We'll have a roommate. I love the fact that you were just like an eight-year-old kid. I was, bra- uh, I was like 12. Brainstorming revenue options. <laughs> yeah, like streaming revenue. <laughs> I would have put her on an OnlyFans now. You're like, wait, mom. Have you thought about this? Mom, I'm going to toss this out there. What if I get some Spyderco knives? We go door to door. I sell it. If you get three people, me and my mom just pushing magazine subscriptions. Marie Claire has got a brand new deal for you. It's 14 issues. Um, yeah, so, so you ended up, you were trying to figure out how to rent one of the rooms out. I liked Joe. Because yeah. I only knew him as, like, my dad's friend. No eight-year-old should have to think this stuff through. Again, I was 12. You so were 12. Was, Sorry was, about that. Yeah. You were an adult. I eight, apologize. Eight, honestly, with eight, it would be more acceptable because it's pie-eyed, and it's like, dad's friend, 12. You're like, all right, kid, fuck, what are you doing? You put yourself in harm's way. Yeah, I don't know how they, I don't know how they consider, uh, when they consider adulthood in the Midwest, but 12, I think, is pretty young. Colorado laws, 100 years ago, I would have had to have had my own farm by then. Yeah, you probably would have. Yeah, you would have had to lead a had storm to, on an yeah. Indian tribe. They go, if you can't drive cattle, why are you here? <laughs> yeah. Damn it, Dan. So, Joe, you meet, so you you hook your mom and Joe up unintentionally. Completely unintentionally. Yeah. And it ends up being the Did worst. Did he at least pay a little rent for a little bit in that room? Yeah, they faked it. Yeah. And then there became a time where... It was like a rainstorm, and I went to piss, mm. and I remember it was like really storming outside, and the lightning struck, and I saw that his door was open, like a haunted, like a scary movie, and I noticed his door was open, and I was like, I'll shut Joe's door, and I like looked in, and his, he wasn't in his bed, and I was like, damn. I immediately knew. I was like, damn. <laughs> Did he play it off for a while? Like you, you, I gave it a couple of days, and then finally with my mom, I was like, so Joe's sleeping in your room? And she was like, oh, we were gonna tell you <laughs> and you're like all right all right and it was just like you know he had never had kids he didn't Did he know. play it over a while like he came out of a room naked and you were like he was like oh sorry i was i was oh, fixing I was, the uh, air conditioner it was crazy your mother was trapped under a boulder and i had to get her out and you're like okay cool oh, yeah cool. no no, no. once that. i knew i was like all right and yeah. then everything was start i again was still so stupid i didn't put it together that it was going to turn terrible right but yeah then it's like you have no control of the situation. Then all of a sudden, my ranking got dropped. When he was a roommate, we were evil. We were even ranking. You could go to his room and be like, "Hey, hey rent's Joe. Due. Yeah. Hey, Joe. <laughs> you using a little too much hot water, buddy. <laughs> I come in with a tool belt. Right. I'm here to fix that thing that you said downstairs. Right. It's like, oh, it's a little bit of some of the ceilings falling off. <laughs> <laughs> just having, I'm having super conversations with yeah. I go, I go, yeah, hey, lady owns this building's a real bitch. She's <laughs> busting my ass about my grades. There's a Dwayne Reed by my new apartment, but it's also a Walgreens. Yeah, they own each other. Yeah. Didn't know that. I'm at the Dwayne Reed and I'm like looking for something. See a black dude doing some stuff with a tag on and I go, hey, and it's Walgreens. And I go, <laughs> I, tried, I tried to get out of it mid ask, and then I was like, "Thought you had ah. something. I thought you had something right here. Yeah, where's the milk?" And he was like, <laughs> right over there. I was like, "So you do work here?" <laughs> oh, and then I walk away like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck, dude! I thought I fucked up." Because I walked up, I was like, "Yes, no, yeah, shit." Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll ask as soon as I walk into a hardware store. I ask a stranger. I yeah. mean, because they know hardware guys don't they don't have uniforms. So if you're a man, yeah, they have you back look braces. like you know what you're doing here. Yeah. Oh, do they? If you're wearing a back brace at Home Depot, I'm going to ask you where stuff Oh, is. no. I'm <laughs> Somebody sent me something that was very interesting. Um, the co- the, they, I can't say who it is because they told me not to say who it is. But they sent me something on Facebook. And I've always suspected this. And this is so fucking blatant. <sighs> my name, my real name is Ricardo no, Aguilera. Not- I'll tell you the whole thing. I killed Dan Soder in 2007 <laughs> and took over his identity. I'm Argentinian. No, I come from a powerful family that is hell bent on violence and destruction. I did. That was not. I made myself into a silly man, hoping to get washed away into the comedy scene. But here we are. I will tell you this, Robert Kelly. (laughs) You have just sent several dangerous people after you. Anyways, let's look into the file. (laughs) Louis J. Gomez is my bodyguard. He is my trusted assistant, Raphael. We're both from Buenos Aires. Robert, uh, do what you will. 
<laughs> but the Argentinian people know I am there for them. <laughs> uh, I'm from Buenos Aires. I am. That's in Argentina. Oh, is it? <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not yes, good. my grandfather has escaped Nazi. <laughs> But that is not where my family's story That's where ends. It <laughs> no. It's where it starts. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean... It, it, what? You got through a show or something? <laughs> is it a J-O video? <laughs> is it the business side uh, of the J-O video? I want to talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> that guy's very... <laughs> Mr. Aguilera, I've seen some things, my friend. I always would love to do where, that. Where, 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 where did you grow up as a boy? Uh, on the shores. <laughs> on the shores of the ocean. Watching the powerful sea push out things that he did no longer want, including my father, a simple shrimp sailor. Sailor? What? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm a fucking idiot. You Wait, can only pretend to be smart where, for so where, long. Where did you, did you go to school? Ah, uh, the streets taught me, my friend. <laughs> Everything I needed to know. I would learn from alley cats, from gangsters, <laughs> from, city, from city councilmen, until I was the most powerful man in Buenos Aires. Did you say, I'm sorry, did you say you learned, learned from alley cats? Alley cats. <laughs> and street what? From street vendors, <laughs> and drug pushers, and Dude. of course the horse, <laughs> teaching me to be an excellent lover. <laughs> and when, how old are you now? I am 48 years old. <laughs> 48? But I look a much younger man. Yes. Because of the love of my wife. Oh, you're married. Rosalita. Rose Rosalita. She passed away several years ago. Oh, she's dead. A asshole cancer. <laughs> she died very brutally, shitting out the love of me in a bloody little liquid mess. Where's your father? He's, I killed him myself. Is that, that's what you said the sea took him away. My middle name is Sea. <laughs> Water parks to me, the, I remember my dad took me to one called Waterworks near San Francisco. It was like in the Bay okay. Area. And they'd give you this like sponge that you would go down on. Yeah. <laughs> it's It was a sponge, Shanathan. <laughs> and the thing, the thing fucking dropped. And I just remember them being like, it's really scary. I'm like, no, it's, I was maybe like eight. And it dropped and I was like, <laughs> it made a noise in front of other kids that I was embarrassed the rest of the day. I was like, that was my, I was, I was actually afraid. Hell no. I, <laughs> Dude, yeah. Anytime someone asks me, like, what would you do with like a, a million dollars? Like, I one of my things, which I've already told on that golf thing about like a, a, a fun system of, of uh, like uh, you, when you go to a driving range, yeah, you'd have one slot for a certain sport and in the distance certain rings to hit. Like for golf, you have a point system. Are you inventing Top Golf? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you no, in front of us? No, 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 no. He goes, all... tell you this driving range. <laughs> There's chicken fingers and wings and nachos and yeah. you get beer and it's stacked on top. <laughs> no, he's, not even, he's not even saying that he wants to invent it. He just wants to go. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Dude I, I'm, I'm going to you make you shit your brains right now, Tommy. We can go to Top Golf on Thursday. I can take you there on Thursday for $39.99. Then we can get an afternoon. Nice. I wasn't done my fucking day. Uh, all right. All right. No, but it's, more, it's all sports. So it's okay. like you go to another session. You bring the distance in, it's footballs. Okay. You know I mean, then you go, so maybe you get for the lesbian some softball under. Yeah. Um, you bring it in a little bit. Good luck swinging just, on one of those softball just, pitches. He just wants a bar with chicks that can, <laughs> they can, the watch, they can watch him yeah. throw it. Yeah. He just wants girls going, wow, you're so naturally athletic. He goes, basically, right here, it's like a pussy buffet. <laughs> and they just watch me go down and I fucking alpha for them. And then at every interval, they suck me off. And then I go to the next one and I hit a three and they suck me me off. <laughs> uh, anyway, the second idea I wanted was a, a fucking adult uh, where you'd send a waiver. Yeah. Like the Action Park was in Jersey. Yeah. But, yeah. Wanted, but bars at the bottom of everyone, like like you flow right into a lagoon. Where oh, that's a, fun. A pool bar. But they you pick up speed and shit. Shit's a little dangerous. You got to wear helmets on some of the rides. Shit like that. <laughs> I mean, dude, Real the, fun time. The that best part is. will be, in, uh, if this process even moved forward, <laughs> would be the inevitable shutdown by the insurance company <laughs> where they're like, we're not going to try that. Yeah, we no, can't. Possibly. What are you fucking talking yeah. about? Talking about putting a bar at the end of a pool <laughs> at the end of a slide that's very yeah. dangerous. Yeah. Tell me, he's like, I'll cover it. I got a million bucks. I got a million. Go, Sir, that's not even going to get you the. We're not even talking about the land leasing. You can't even buy land. Yeah. You have to lease that. And that, by the way, that's your nut. That's gone. That's a whole thing. <laughs> that's a mill. It's We're going to get one. It's just me drinking done. in the woods. Yeah. It's just you with a fucking garbage bag down the side of a hill. And you go, there's a cooler at the end. That's the bar. You guys can see the concept didn't really take off. 
<laughs> you know, it kind of was just wet in the ground with a yeah. hose, yeah. sliding down a hill. You, you guys been to Tommy's Field yet? <laughs> you got a voice on you. There was, there's been times where I've called a restaurant, right, like with a problem. I ordered food and there's like a problem. I call them like, hey, what's going on with this? Like this orders fucking terrible <laughs> and it didn't come out right you guys like hey, and, and Andre I, the Giants on the phone and I get her I will I order it you do not bring it to me bring me the sours I want the whole sours I, I want my sun chips I want the sun chips I want the bring me my sun chips <laughs> <laughs> and, then they, and then they show up and I'm like, hey! And they're just like, I've seen guys be like, this is that fucking guy? This is him? <laughs> Big headed loser? <sighs> I find it now more interesting to be like, oh, what is the history of Colorado? Yeah. Because I know it is a white kid that grew up in the suburbs right. that went to fucking the Aurora Mall right. or went to fucking, you know, like the Best Buy on Mississippi. Right. And you're like, oh, it's the Best Buy. And you're like, did you know that that actually plot of land be belonged to the Legal? You know, like yeah. something where you're like, whoa, shit, that's pretty fucked up. When? Hundreds of years ago? And they're like, no. A hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. Like, Fuck. Yeah. Your grandmother was like, don't get me started yeah, about she goes, that. I dated one. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? He was great. He would flip me around on his horse. Yeah. I dated never calls you back. That was his name. <laughs> he goes, Mary, sorry, Mary Lou. I just felt like we didn't really hit it off. <laughs> the son told the coyote. To not call you. <laughs> like how they get out of not calling back yeah. women. I went, I went to the river for a message, but realized that the snake had taken my love for you. It's like, <laughs> what does that mean, runs with storms? It it's means like, I'm having sex with your sister. It, it means I'm kind of over it. <laughs> yeah, like, just got to be like... I, they can get out of anything by just blaming it on the fucking elements. Yeah, just listen to the to the soul of the of the yeah. world, and you can blame anything. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Damn, why didn't you show up? And you go, oh, I just felt like the wind, the uh, yeah. the, the soul of the wind yeah. told me to go home and take a nap. Anytime I'm about to break up with a girl, I just start doing meditation and yoga, just so I can be like one with my spirits to like blame it on that. Yeah. Like, I'm just really doing a lot of inner, yeah. inner work. It's not you. It's my chakras say that it's not right. And yeah. do you respect that? And she's like, yeah. Now, I if do. you had any Native American blood, you can tell them that an eagle came and saw you. Yeah. And, and brought the spirit of the wind. <laughs> and then it's just yeah. like, see ya. Yeah. I am destined for other pussy. Yeah.